Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just showing you how to do some felting and some basic stuff. So this is some of the basic stuff. Off. This is what you might normally use if you're studying. It's not the best. You will need to replace them over time. And they get a lot of stuff stuck in them. But you can usually pull it out. So it's nice and dense. It's, you'll probably find this uh, radio craft store. Then this is the next sort of pad. Instead of just a foam block, it has a bunch of bristles and stuff. So oh, it doesn't like deflate over time. Oh, and there's dust coming off of it. Jeez. I haven't cleaned very long. And when I made this, this, you can buy brushes and stuff. It's basically just a little spiky thing, so you can run it through and cut all those hairs out in it. And so you run it through and look up where it's gone out. So that's some of the pads. And if you haven't noticed, this whole thing, right, well, right thing that everything is sitting on this is my new giant pad it's nice and dense so perfect for felting like you just poke it in a lot whatever you need in so with the basic needles of these these ones have little handles and and the if you you can't see but if you have tiny little bulbs on them, you can't just use a regular needle. You'll basically be just impaling your wool or whatever you're using. So it's very, the idea of them is very basic. Like so, there's those. That's like if you're getting started. Then there's this, it holds three needles. If you're working on very thick stuff, these can take some more force. But I can get pretty fast with these. Some from time, and if I'm working really fast just to finish something off, I'll use this. It has a guard. This is the needles. I don't think I have all the needles in it. It. So when you just. This one's not the best. So. It works the same as everything. This one has a cap, and. One thing I've been wondering with this is if I can get this off. I wonder what this thing is for. The top of it comes off. Needles do not fit in it. So if you have any ideas what it's for, leave a comment below. Oh, this thing does not have needle storage. I thought that might be what it was, but I don't think so. Unless there's some weird needles. So, that's the basic supplies. And now is for colors and stuff. This is a scrap from, um, like, something I spun. Um, this is a yarn that I spun. I did on a spinning wheel. Um, I have two things of it. I spun both of these. I bought a yarn one and stuff. Well, if I used a friend's spinning wheel. I don't have one yet. Very expensive. So, this is what I made. So, that's just a scrap. Then, there's like a Joey and other colors you can get. It, these, are, these are all chemical dyed, which gets you bright colors. You can do natural dyeing. And then, if you have a pair of cardos or drum cardos, you can use this stuff. It's sparkly. So it's just like a little mix-in, and I have some nice fun with it. You can't quite tell, but if you catch the light just right, you can see slight sparkles sometimes. So it's sort of hard to tell or on the camera, but they're there. So it's pretty cool. I like it. And that's it, I think, for the wool part. Oh, and the silk. This stuff is pretty dang soft, and and it's really shiny. It's hard to tell on camera, 
sort of reflecting the light, but it's really soft. You can use it for a lot of mixins and stuff. And here's like some purple and here's some white. You can get in all sorts of colors too. And, and what do you do with a drum carter? Uh, this would be a bat hunt. It's basically, you just code tons of colors together on the drum carter and then it like mixes them all together then you take off and become this and so it makes this colorful thing this one I'm currently spinning I haven't worked on it for a while so it's actually quite similar to the bouillon I'm making or have made this I did in like a couple hours it wasn't super big but I have some scraps and stuff but I spun with it and and I think that's it for this part and this is where I keep all my stuff the giant foam block definitely I won't keep in here so with this I just used foam stuff oh, so this and this section is just like my wool and stuff of like in the like different things. This is like my mixins and silk and stuff. I think curlies, which are sort of fun. And then in this drawer and this is what I see what is my scrap. A bottle of a scrap I've bought. And it has a lid sort of stuff. So it doesn't just come in the drawer. This is sort of like my project bin, sort of. More like both of these are sort of my project bins. And this is just like sort of my like needles and stuff. So if this is my drawer. Oh, well, you might, if you have a lot more, you might need more space. So, oh, like future, I might have need two drawers probably moving so soon. So I'll probably have more space. Also, one last thing, down below, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't. You'll probably miss out on a lot of cool videos and fun videos, educational and fun. And that's it for today. I'll probably do more of the videos with felting and stuff. So, well, thank you for watching and please subscribe.